All right, if you've got a tractor and you've got a loader arm, I guarantee you that you have some recessed Zerk fittings. You notice I've got a clean one and a dirty one. And what's the best and easiest way to clean those fittings? I was inspired by a YouTube channel that I found called Kubota Down Under. Now, unfortunately, he has not produced a video in over a year, but he had some really great short few minute videos focused on the orange tractor Kubotas. Now the inspiration for this tip, as I mentioned, came from Kubota down under. And he had a tip where he took a piece of plastic tubing and put a rag over the end of the plastic tubing and used that to clean out the recessed opening where a lot of these Zerk fittings, especially on a loader arm, are recessed. And uh, this was a great way to get in there and clean that out. Well, I was replacing a Zerk fitting on the tail wheel on my brush hog and I was holding this T-handle and I thought, boy, we could take that tip of using this one step farther by making a T-handle. And I happened to be in the tractor supply store. My favorite store is Coastal. And I happened upon this little guy right here. So this is a T-barb fitting. And it is almost the exact same size as this half inch PEX tubing that I was using earlier. And it turns out that if you take a piece of cloth and just put it over the end of that T fitting, now you've got a nice little device to go like this. I took that one step farther and I cut myself some patches. And all you need is about a two inch square piece of material just laid over the T and then just take a rubber band and wrap that rubber band so that you've got your patch material nicely held on the end of that T-fitting. Now you can just go around your tractor on all of the recessed Zerk fittings, push that in the Zerk fitting, twist a couple of times, and that opening is nice and clean. If you need a little extra cleaning, just take some more cloth, lay it on top. It'll bunch up when you're in there and it will clean out that recessed opening. Now what I found is if I spray these uh, recessed openings with WD-40, then go in and clean, it works even better. And one other tip is I just saturate this with WD-40 and it makes it easy to clean. The best channel that I have found on YouTube for tractor information is AskTractorMike.com and his YouTube channel is AskTractorMike. And I'll put a link down below and I'll even put a little reference card up here so you can check out his channel. Now, I don't know if this is approved by Ask Tractor Mike, but I'm gonna send him a link and we'll see what he says. But I have a feeling because he's so into maintenance, he's gonna give his seal of approval for this quick little tip.